Okay. Hey guys, say hello. I, look at him. He has to get in the middle of everything. <sighs> Am I salty? Y'all need some more minerals? They need minerals. <laughs> Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. All right, guys. So here's the deal. So I have been talking to Bree, Art and Bree, and I've been messaging back and forth with Bree this morning. Normal day, I'm in here next to these cows. With my leg, the way that it is right now, I'm just doing what I can, okay? The last thing that I need is for this guy right here to nudge up against my thigh real hard. He'll bust my wound wide open, and I know it. So, have to be careful. Yes. Yes. Oh, look at who else is coming up here. Where you at? Mr. Nosy. So, Miss Bree, Art and Bree, you know, we've had some videos and conversations going back and forth over previous weeks and months. I just love her. I'm hoping to go visit uh, very soon. I've been to North Carolina twice in the past week and a half, as you know. And she's like, when are you coming? So, anyway, we're going to have to plan some fun times there. I'm hoping to go as soon as Miss Dolly calves. Yeah, I just invited myself in a certain time frame. No, not really. But, if they need help with milking, I might be able to help out with something like that. But here's what I want everyone to know. So, they have a brand new milk cow. Now, she's an older cow, and she's actually the one that I recommended for her to get. Not the young um, cow, uh, actually, who was being hen laying egg in hay bale and the goats up on top up with it. He is a nut. So she got Miss Dolly back to the conversation. And um, you'll see in the video that she's a very, very tame and sweet girl. Um, but what I want to go ahead and stress to her, which I'm going to um, when I get inside and can sit down and type, is um, spend a lot of time with the cow. Miss Bell here had never been milked, hand milked, um, prior to me getting her, okay? And frankly, I did, you know, you were really good when we got her to feed her a piece of light bread. I don't feed my cows bread, but it is a treat that I use um, that they love. Oh my gosh, she loves white bread. Boys will be boys. And, um, you need to spend a lot of time every day talking to the cow, loving on the cow, watching the cow's mannerisms. Now, if you watch her video, you can clearly see from the get-go, um, Miss Dolly is bonding and following art. So that was one of the things I've asked her this morning. I'm going to get back in and discuss with her. Is Okay, she's putting her head down. She's put, see, she puts her head down. She loves being brushed. So I'm just going to lightly over the top of the gate here. Just a little bit light brushing. So I know I've done it. But Miss Dolly is following art around. Okay. And is really connected to art. So I wrote her. I wrote to her. I commented to her and said, hey, who was milking Dolly? Was it a man? And she's like, I'm not really sure. So... I'm going to go in and we're going to have a conversation. So my recommendation for her, which is a recommendation for everybody, when you get one of these cows and they're used to a certain type of individual milking them, that may be, in my personal opinion, the route that you want to go to start with. In other words, let's use Art and Bree as an example. I personally think, <laughs> baby, I love you. I personally think that you should start out with both of you milking together, but she's probably going to be, if she is used to a man milking her, larger hands, more strength, um, and just that demeanor, um, she is probably going to respond to that because the cow you see right now may not be the cow that you see once she has a calf and once that mama instinct kicks in. Hey, she may throw this calf, you walk out there, and she's, she's going to let you hook up a straw to her and go at it. She don't care. Happens all the time, but then again, it doesn't happen all the time. So I think it would be wise to have, if it's a man that's been milking her, find out for sure if that's true, and then definitely want to have him start out, but you're with it, with him, and maybe switch off. 
And the best thing that you can do, people don't take this very serious. Goats are a lot easier um, just because of sheer size. Um, I can tell you right now, just trying to deal with the two girls out, out there and with them uh, looking like they're bred and everything that's going on with them, the difference, <laughs> the difference in handling them and this girl is just unbelievable. This girl has never been aggressive. She's been ornery on occasion when it's in the middle of July and it's like 90 at 8.30 in the morning and there's a lot of flies buzzing around. She gets ornery. I must be salty. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you have to watch for those things. But you want to get... Yes, I love you too. You want to get her used to you. So find out what treats that she likes. Some light bread, a couple of pieces. Go out and talk to her. Give her the light bread. Brush. I'm out here actually with my freshener spray. See my freshener spray? It's got my uh, little bit of Dr. Bronner's, uh, lavender, um, you know, my essential oils. I'm off cameras every which way. The problem is, is when I get out here, he wants to be brushing out too. See? <laughs> he butts right in and gets in the way and takes over the brushing. And like I said, I have to be careful with that, right? Because he wants to be love bug too. And we love him. We really do love him. So, just to let you know that it is an absolute acclimation, more so than you've ever experienced with anything in your life. Because as I've told you before, it only takes one bad moment. Uh, it only takes one bad incident with anything to really put you out and put you down. But also, when you get into an accident with something like this, if you get into an accident because you ran into the, uh, the cattle panel, well, you're probably not going to be too scared of cattle panels from that point forward. You just know to be smarter. You can't always predict that, okay? You got a thousand pound beast right there, and that's actually a small cow. Uh, you know, you got a thousand pound beast in there. You can't always predict what she's going to do. So constant acclimation several times a day even just walking out and talking to her but when you're brushing okay when you're brushing her and you're getting used to her as you can see we're muddy you also want to be rubbing down on the belly rubbing down on the udder okay you also want to feel and make sure that the temperature of the udder is good uh, you want to make sure that there's nothing going on down there continually um, her teats are closed because she's not been milked so you know we're pretty good um, but, you know, you just want to make sure that you are bonding really, really well with them and that their health is good and that they're building trust with you. I've done a video on building trust. It's very important. So I can walk out there. Now, I have to also monitor. You want to watch um, when you do things with these animals, when you put out, like, fresh hay or you open them up to a fresh field, they get very excited. I mean, we're talking about, it's interesting to watch a bred cow that's the size of two barn doors start bucking around like a, like a bull, okay? Uh, you know, like a bronco. But they get excited and they express that. And if you are in the way or standing near that when it happens, you're gonna land on, you're gonna land far across that field. I think a lot of people don't realize the power of these animals and that the trust that you have to build with these animals. And it's a daily thing. It's a, a, a lot of grooming um, and uh, constant. Say hi, everybody. Yeah. How about some fresh kelp and minerals? What do you think? Yeah, I think so. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. I'm getting a lot of questions about, you know, milking being a milkmaid again, and uh, we're coming around the corner with that. And uh, I love her. I love her. Yeah, I do. She's a sweet girl. All right, y'all take care out there. Hey, Mama. Let's Let me poof your hair up. You want me to poof it up while I'm at it? I know you like that. She likes that poofed up. Hey, would you quit buttoning in? My goodness. My goodness.